I'm standing in Nir Oz, a kibbutz in southern Israel, which was hit by a rocket earlier today. The rocket landed just outside of this kindergarten. We went to Nir Oz, which is a kibbutz really close to the border, to celebrate my son's birthday. We arrived and we see the children were outside playing and we suddenly hear the usual noise, Seva Adom. In our region, when we hear Seva Adom, it means that we have between one second to, if you are lucky, 10 seconds to get into the shelters. I had the other nannies to take all the children inside. We were under attack, like uh, really attack. And I, understand, I understood directly that there's nothing to do now. I protect them with my body like a human uh, sh shield. I gave a kiss to my son. I look to my wife and I say, darling, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I felt that something went into me. I was thinking, really, I hope it wasn't the last time I, I, I kissed my son and I saw my wife. I saw him lying down. He was covered with blood. The first thing I did after taking his vital signs um, was uh, gain IV access to give him morphine because he was in a lot of pain. He had a chest injury, uh, he lost a lot of blood, so we moved him to our intensive care unit. The paramedic in the ambulance put his hands on my shoulder, on my forehead, and he told me, Jean, it will be okay. I usually don't say this to patients, to family patients, because maybe he won't be fine, but I had a feeling I don't know why, uh, maybe because he's a you know, strong young man, so I told her he's, he's seriously uh, injured, but he will be fine. My wife was with me in the, in the ambulance, and uh, you know, the paramedic took care of me, but they took care of also of, the, of my wife. His wife uh, saw the whole injury, and uh, I always uh, make sure to talk to the family, even if it's a critical situation. It's very important uh, to treat the family, not just the patient. If Mada didn't come as quick as they came, I'm not sure I, uh, I would be here in front of you giving this interview. <laughs> We're about 10 kilometers uh, from the border with Gaza. Twice today, the people of Ashkelon have had to scramble for cover. I was going to go to the and I was the And I heard it like a rush, like a mess. I looked at the and I looked at it like this, and it was like this. We heard the explosion and we knew it's nearby, so uh, we went to the scene without waiting for citizens' call. The missile landed here, the explosion was here. He was blown about 20 to 25 meters. We found him unconscious, in very bad shape, life-threatening situation in a few minutes. If he wasn't get any advanced life support, I was sure that the results were different than we are experienced from now. In a few minutes, we rushed to the hospital with the Miko. 
unfortunately was nearby and we act quite fast and we found him quite quickly. And in less than five minutes, he was in the operation room in the hospital. So he got lucky and we are too. וברוך השם, הגעתי לבית חולים, ואמרו שהמצב התייצב. כן, בעקבות הטיפול של נעמי, של מד"א, בעקבות הטיפול בחדר טראומה שם. זה הוואי, אלוהים, איזה כיף שאני יכולה לחבק אותו, שאני, שהוא, שהוא איתי, שהוא לידי, שהוא... He saved my life, you know? And I'm thanks for... to מד"א for... for what they did for me. and what they are doing for all Am Israel. You are over there, we are here, but we are all connected. Thank you to everyone in America, who came and helped us, who helped us, who helped us, with all that we have here, with all the technology and the ambulances, who really helped us to save my children. When you can help somebody else in your life or do something in your daily life, not just for yourself, for your own family, for other people, I think it's very rewarding. אומרים, בתורה, כל המציל נפש אחת כאילו הציל עולם מלא. זה עולם מלא. זה עולם מלא. The best reward is that he is okay and, and healing and among his, uh, his family. Loving, loving family, very lovely family.